The Shrimp Buyer's Checklist. What to look for before you buy. Here are some tips that can enhance your shrimp buying experience. We all want high quality shrimp at reasonable prices, but it's not always easy to find. We put a lot of trust in fish stores and breeders, so I'd like to provide you with some tips and a checklist of things to look out for. These tips will work well for both Neo Caridina and Caridina shrimp. Welcome everyone, it's Ray from RW Aquarium Pages. I'm here to share my journey in planted aquariums, shrimp tanks, and everything in between. First and foremost, ensure that your aquarium is well aged and mature and that your water parameters are within range. Once that's taken care of, it's time to find some shrimp. You can visit your local fish store, local breeders, or breeders national wide. The great thing about local fish stores and breeders is that you can observe the shrimp firsthand and see them up close and in person. The first tip is to exercise patience. Don't rush into buying shrimp without doing your research about their background. Consider where they are locally bred and adapted to your local water. If they are freshly imported, there's a few things to look out for. First, find out which country they came from. Generally speaking, Taiwan bred shrimp are better quality than that of Indonesia or Thailand shrimp. For example, the breeding facilities are found sometimes be dirty and carry diseases. We often see this with cheap Neo Caridina from Indonesia and Thailand. It's disappointing and also dangerous to introduce shrimp with diseases into your own ecosystem. The other thing to look out for, which is harder to determine, is the genetics of the shrimp. I personally noticed that Indonesia and Thailand shrimp babies produce a lot of coals, whereas Taiwan bred shrimp have a lot less coal rate. If you're buying from a fish store, check to see if the shrimp have been quarantined or if they are freshly imported and sold instantly. It's best to have the store to quarantine the shrimp for 30 to 60 days before selling them, as the weaker ones would have died off by then. If you're buying from a local breeder nationwide and it needs to be shipped to you, any reputable breeder will be able to show you photos and videos of their colony and the exact shrimp that you'll be receiving. Always try to get juvenile shrimp of mixed sexes and try to buy them in groups of 10 to 25 as shrimp like to have friends. Avoid getting adult shrimp as they don't ship well and they may not adapt to new aquariums well. They are also older and closer to the end of their lives. If you do want to get a breeding pair or a group, be more cautious and do your research before purchasing. I personally don't recommend getting adult shrimp or breeding pairs as they can be costly and they may not adapt well to your new environment. It might sound like I'm biased towards quality shrimp, but I really want people to succeed with high quality shrimp and avoid the disappointment of subpar shrimp. Do you have any additional tips you'd like to share with everyone for purchasing shrimp? I'm curious to know. I absolutely love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone. It's so exciting to document my journey in plenty shrimp tanks and share it with others. Stay tuned for more informative videos as I've got plenty of content in store for you. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.